The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Saturday, September 25, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Texas Rangers vs Baltimore Orioles Jordan Lyles has been struggling this season according to his baseball saving page as he is in the 7th percentile in XSLG, 9th percentile in SBA, 12th percentile in Zara, and 13th percentile in Average Exit Velocity. His 9.3 barrel percentage is the highest of his career. Lyles has a 6-pitch arsenal, fastball, slider, curveball, sinker, changeup, cutter, and his cutter has been hit the most as it has a .316 batting average and a .579 slugging percentage. He has not faced Baltimore since 2016, so it will be interesting to see how he attacks this lineup. Our first betting advice is to pick Orioles minus 1.5. Alexander Wells left with a lead after five innings of work, allowing three runs on five hits and one walk, while striking out one. Connor Green took both a blown save and loss for allowing four runs on three hits, while recording just one out. Mullins was on base three times, and his homer was the only extra base hit for Baltimore all night. Our second betting advice is to pick under 8.5. Miami Marlins vs Tampa Bay Area. The Marlins are merely playing the role of spoiler at this juncture of the season. They come into this matchup with a 64-88 record through 152 games. Injuries to their rotation and power bats have curtailed what could have been a promising year. They should be in contention for the division in 2022. Our first betting advice is to pick Tampa Bay Rays. McClanahan is throwing a 3.51 ERA with a 9-6 record on the season. Whether that'll be enough to match Alcantara remains to be seen. At least the Rays have the more reliable bats if things get tight. They're averaging the sixth most home runs, 1.37 per game. It only takes one big hit to drastically change the outlook of the game for them. We'll see if they're pounding their chest at the end of Saturday's game against the visiting Marlins. Sandy Alcantara gave them some serious problems on the mound, but they were able to snag the winning run once Miami turned to their bullpen. The only difference then was the Rays had ace Tyler Glasnow pitching on the other end. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Quick reminder, Bavada is an online sportsbook and casino established in 2011. The platform offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, Bavada allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join Bavada now using our link down below and get access to all sorts of premium sport welcome bonuses after signing up and making your first deposit. Washington Nationals vs Cincinnati Reds. Washington is averaging 4.50 runs per game. Their .259 batting average is fourth in the league. Their .336 on base percentage is second, while their .420 slugging percentage is 11th. Juan Soto has been the big bat for Washington. He leads the team with a .325 batting average, 29 home runs, and 92 RBI. The Reds are likely going to miss the postseason after a terrible month of September. They haven't won a series this month in what has been an easy schedule including two series against the last place Pirates. Cincinnati is only 3-7 in their last 10 clashes. Washington's pitching isn't very good. Opponents have a .252 batting average against the Nationals, which is 21st in the league. Their 4.71 ERA is 22nd, while their 1.34 whip is 19th. In his last start, Fed gave up 4 hits and 4 runs in 5 innings, leading to an 8-7 loss to Miami. They will need a better performance from him if they want to win this game. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Nationals. Vladimir Gutierrez will get the nod for the 22nd time of the season on Saturday. 
Gutierrez had trouble once again in his latest effort, conceding five runs in only 3.2 frames against the Pirates, and was able to escape with a no decision in a game the Reds won. The rookie right-hander had a great start but has struggled recently, and his ERA has dipped to 4.53, along with a 1.37 whip and a 9-6 record in 111.1 innings of action. This is his first career meeting against the Nats. Our second betting advice is to pick over 9.5. Toronto Blue Jays vs Minnesota Twins. If the Red Sox beat the Yankees at least two out of three times in the series and Toronto beat an already eliminated Twins team, then they'll almost be a lock to clinch a wild card spot, especially considering they'll face the Yankees in the next series. They just can't afford to drop the ball right now. Our first betting advice is to pick Toronto Blue Jays minus 1.5. The Twins come in riding a three-game winning streak after totaling 21 runs over their last three games. For the season, Minnesota ranks fourth in the MLB in home runs with 216 dingers this year. However, the Twins rank just 15th in runs scored and 11th in ops. In his eighth MLB season, Ray is in the midst of career year on the mound in Toronto. The Blue Jays' lefty has fanned 11.77 batters and walked a career-low 2.27 hitters per nine innings of work this season. He's also generated an elite 15.8% swinging strike rate while holding opposing batters to a .211 batting average. The Minnesota Twins were a big disappointment throughout the whole year, but, to be fair, they did have some bad luck. No other team struggled more with injuries and COVID-19 than them early in the season, and it was just too late for them to get back on track. Even so, they've played some good baseball as of late and played spoiler for several contenders along the way. They're seeing the ball well right now with a .266 average over the past week, which is the 10th best in the majors. However, that hasn't translated into many runs, as they've scored just 26 over their past six games, the 11th worst mark in the league. As for their pitching, they haven't been exactly sharp, boasting a 4.87 ERA that ranks 27th out of 30 during that span. Veteran left-hander Robbie Ray will tow the rubber for the Blue Jays in the third game of their weekend series in Minnesota. The 29-year-old comes in with a 12-6 overall record to go along with a 2.72 ERA and 30 starts, but he's had some trouble as of late. Ray has worked fewer than five innings in two of his last three appearances, yet still owns a healthy 2.78 ERA and four starts this month. Last time out, the Blue Jays' southpaw surrendered just three earned runs in 14 innings of work in a loss versus the Tampa Bay Rays. The law snapped a personal four-game winning streak for Rays, who struck out fewer than 10 batters for just the second time in his last seven starts. Our second betting advice is to pick over nine. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.